I'm David Becker. I'm a lighting designer based in Sydney, Australia, and I also am chair of the commission for the Certification for Lighting Designers, the CLD. Well, the sorts of things that will really help people with their application is to read the question and respond to the question. Uh, it's, it's very important that people understand that this is not an, an award submission. This is uh, a method of assessing people's competency against a standardised uh, method of measurement. And so the questions that are presented, and there are, there are questions that relate to seven domains or seven fields of expertise, those questions need to be responded to in a very articulate and clear way. The, quest, the responses should not be flowery or overly poetic. Uh, we're not looking for a, a writer's award. We're looking for crisp, succinct responses to the question. And then, of course, I would say that each, each uh, question really needs to have some exhibit, some, some uh, material, some visual material that uh, underscores the written response. So keep those, keep those pictures really clear as well. A very useful thing for, for uh, applicants is to remember that uh, it's useful to, if you can make the reviewer's job as easy as possible. So if there's something interesting or important in the image that you want the reviewer to look at, something that's clever, well, put some text on it. The images themselves uh, must have no mark that identifies you, but it's quite possible and actually desirable for the images to have text on them so that uh, you can sort of direct the reviewer to the really important aspects. Well, that depends whether they are uh, a member, a professional member of an uh, approved association or not. Now, if you are, a, uh, uh, and the, the approved associations are listed in the handbook, and I would thoroughly recommend that people read the handbook, which is a simple document, it's a plain English language document. But the sorts of things, uh, the sort of time that it should take uh, to make an application would depend on, on, on their status. So for instance, if they are a professional uh, member of an approved association, then it's a streamlined uh, process. And it's probably a, if you gather all your information together first, which is a good idea, and then sort of sit down and, and put it together in, in the application, it's probably maybe an eight an eight hour process. Um, if you if you are not a uh, a member of an approved association, then you have to answer more questions and submit more material, and it might add another four or five hours to that process. Well, at this moment in time, you have six months to complete your application once you initiate the process. And we think that's quite a, a reasonable amount of time. But of course, as is inevitable, a lot of people will leave it to the last minute. It's just like getting an award submission in on time. It's usually done at 11 o'clock at night, uh, just prior to the deadline. 